Hi everyone and welcome to the Coolest Coast. My name is Jason Priggy and today on the Coolest Coast we're going to discover some wonderful beautifully painted murals in the city of Manitowoc. These murals are free public art museum here in Manitowoc uh, painted by various artists so grab a cup of coffee join us take a little stroll down the streets of Manitowoc and discover some beautiful artwork. You're watching the Coolest Coast. I am Associate Professor of Art and Gallery Director at Silver Lake College. Um, this is my eighth year living in Manitowoc and when I moved here um, from Philadelphia where I had attended grad school and from Buenos Aires, Argentina, I immediately recognized that Manitowoc was lacking public art um, and, um, and murals basically. And that was not because there was a lack of creative culture. Um, there were there are lots of fantastic artists that were already claiming Manitowoc as their home. I got involved with uh, mainly Manitowoc, uh, the downtown organization, and it was excellent because they were already working towards their first grant and it applied for um, grant funding through the Wisconsin Arts Board. Um, that mural was painted that summer by Jason Priggy and that was the first um, of many murals still to come um, for the community of Manitowoc. I volunteered with Jason and I remember standing on the scaffolding thinking, whoa, this is a really big project. Creating murals is something that um, is, is doable um, and I feel like there's kind of a wave across Manitowoc and much of Northeast Wisconsin to build kind of their creative culture through mural making. Um, was one of the first big murals that I participated in and it was interesting because before that I had come to learn a bit about city ordinance because I had planned a mural with my students and recognized that creating murals you couldn't just walk up to a wall and start painting and I reached out to Ed Hansen who I know is working on um, Red Arrow Park and I had seen the the park kind of transforming. I was working with David Carpenter um, and a friend from grad school, Justin Baldwin, on that project. Um, also, Stephanie Carpenter helped us a lot with our design work. Um, but through collaboration of all of these different parts, it was kind of like when we were finishing up the mural, I felt like the skies parted and there was this, ah! and as an artist, I think that's really rare to come across. But I think that the Red Arrow mural really um, it stands out in the community. The imagery I had found online, it is of a Milwaukee soldier from the 32nd Infantry, um, which of course Red Arrow is named after. And I just enlarged it and, it and it looked like this soldier had this kind of gaze looking down towards Lake Michigan and it was kind of simple and perfect at the same time. And you know, when we think about these murals, I think that's the biggest part is their community building. Um, so then after that, the next year, we were reached out to again um, by the city and um, they had selected this time the surface um, that they wanted us to paint and that was the bridge tower. So I started collaborating with David and Stephanie Carpenter um, again in figuring out a design and trying to think about um, some kind of imagery that really was important to that site specifically. Um, the, the bridge crosses the river, which is a major um, intersection for industry as so much of the industry in Manitowoc relied on, on that river. I was digging around on a uh, history page for Manitowoc on Facebook and just looking through images and there was this beautiful image um, of this woman kind of symbolizing the sense of progress. At that time, Manitowoc was a real hub for industry. The mural 
that I was a part of was besides um, you know just being part of mainly Manitowoc was the antique mall mural um, and for that mural we sent out a call for artists through mainly Manitowoc and we also had applied for that grant money through um, the same organization that had helped us with our first mural the Wisconsin Arts Board. Uh, I collaborated on that mural with uh, Stephanie Carpenter and David Carpenter on most of the design work and then Hayden Hippert um, a local artist as well joined us in the painting process. It was during the summer for a month every night at four o'clock we met out at the wall and, and we painted and um, it was also a celebration as the, the grassroots kind of um, co-op is starting to build in Manitowoc and the idea of um, local food sourcing um, that kind of tied in there as well. Um, another mural that we completed this fall was for um, the Lakeshore Artist Guild's um, Art Slam event. This was the first year and I think the mural was a total hit. I worked with Don Crumpus um, and David Carpenter on that mural and a lot of my students from Silver Lake College as well and community members really. There was a lot of different um, people involved. Jeremiah Novak and um, Brock Weir uh, sponsored the mural and the city actually sponsored all the supplies so it was like this big um, joint collaboration as well as the person that sponsored the wall but um and and for this mural we completed it painted it in four hours um, we had designed a paint by number mural kind of um, geometric inspired by the lake and we use kind of contemporary colors and we're interested in stepping away from maybe the historic subject matter that we had been using on a lot of different murals and making something a little bit more contemporary and edgy and playful. Um, and it was just so great because so many people in the community came out and participated in it. Um, and we're really looking forward to next year because right now we are working on claiming a wall and, and once again getting the community involved in painting a mural with us. Um, like I said before, I think the more hands on deck, um, the more successful the project is. So that will be September 21st, 2019. Mark your calendars. Special thanks to Pat Tice of Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, Stark Real Estate, for sponsoring this episode of The Coolest Coast. <laughs>all we have for you on the coolest coast today i encourage you to come to manitowoc and check out all the public art there are many other murals besides the ones we featured uh the ones we featured are all in public buildings here in manitowoc and like i said it is a free walking museum of public art so we'll see you next time on the coolest coast